What's up guys, you already know, we're doing Leo, October 2022, spirit of gratitude, joy, love, and light, highest possible messages at this time. Guys, reach out for a one-on-one -on -one reading. <clears throat> Leo, three of cups in the reverse, this is coming out of the party element or atmosphere, believe it or not, it's a narrowing down to relationship. You could have been turning cold to it with the queen of cups in reverse. Six of Cups in Reverse is having lost friendships from the past due to lack of happiness. Could even be a relationship based on friendship and play. Um, you've been overemphasizing emotional independence as opposed to toxicity with the Devil card in the upright. And you're giving birth to a moment of kind of lack of offers and lack of wanting to give an offer potentially. Um, could be to a new job, could be to a new relationship, could even be to family or friends, lack of communication. This is my energy of surf surface level communication. You're being stingy with your time is what I'm getting with your value. You're trying to carve your own path. Leo, if you're not a Leo, apply this to the fifth house. You're going through some sort of ego death as well. I can imagine... Um, as far as what your expectations for yourself are versus where your actual station in life is. It could be a little uh, myopic, a little nearsighted, not really seeing how you will kind of get out of this precarious situation almost. Okay, your energy, your, your uh, efforts and, and the um, kind of energy behind your efforts seem to be dim. Um, it's almost as if you feel that you are falling out of favor or out of grace at times. But it is almost in this kind of um, accepting uh, of this, the, a form of surrender, um, where you could at least, in the very least, find your base level, your baseline. Okay, find your real kind of rock bottom, your, your, your foundation amidst the chaos, amidst the noise with the Seven of Cups in reverse. And you can find out who is truly by your side. And when you find out who's truly by your side, um, then you can find out a lot about yourself. And that, that's even in regards to um, what you rely on uh, fundamentally, foundationally, I almost want to say structurally, uh, in your life, like say it's poetry, say it's writing, say it's music, these lifelong virtues or, or skill sets or ways of being, behaviors, habits, hobbies, um, these are um, in, uh, you know, uh, energetic essence, you know, allies, friends, they, they are what keep, on, keep you coming back to the shell. Uh, it's what keeps you coming back for more. And there is this kind of enriching mechanism that I'm getting. Um, and it's not necessarily having to do with physical relationship. Um, I always like to say that, like, you know, people are portals. We're carriers of energy, especially in my travels of, you know, excuse me as I open this. I do deliveries in my electric scooter. Uh, you can see it in the background, actually. And you come across a lot of, like, energies. And one of my, like, understandings or lessons that I was able to kind of comprehend, it's actually a call right there. Hold on, let me pause and see if I'm going to take it. Sorry about that, guys. I was doing a delivery. Um... So we're talking about um, outside of relationship and recognizing that like people are portals, they carry energy, their ego gets attached to the energy. Uh, similarly to like expectation and you know your station in life and I would even say the and yes I have a hoodie on now because I went out and did a delivery. Um, I would even say the fact that, like, if someone's not content, pardon my hair is trash right now, but, uh, not satisfied, 
Um, and uh, I think that we tend to get it confused that like life is a is a is a long, long marathon. That if you believe that we were souls that existed previously, you know we signed up for something that we had no idea of. If you believe that we existed prior to being here, if not, then you know we came out of nothing and we'll go back to nothing. But the idea of like, I think sometimes we get it twisted to think that we could have any effect on the distance of life, the journey of life. And we think like, just because we're a billionaire or a millionaire that we're not gonna like have to get up and like, you know, take a shit and exist and shower and eat and feed ourselves and take care of ourselves and take care of others, you know. Life is a drudge, it's the dregs regardless of what your standing is because that's what life is and so I feel as though that we as a people have to accept that fact first and foremost it's like gritty it's not ever going to be something that we're sold in the Hollywood movies or TV shows or anything like that. And I think that that's like the great scam on society is that we think that there's some way out through success or something. I mean, don't get me wrong, like if I didn't have to worry about bills or you know anything like that, then yeah, I think that income and, and not having to worry about things financially bring a certain level of happiness. But then you have everything else to figure out. You know, you have everything else to navigate. I think a large majority of that also is like, who do you spend your life with? Um, for me personally, I spend life with myself first and foremost. This has been like probably the most isolating year of my life since um, my girlfriend left me. I know that sounds really harsh and brutal, but I mean that's just kind of what it what it is and what it was. I mean. Um, I am going through somewhat of like a man on an island existence, but in my defense I chose this, you know, because I just wasn't vibing with um, anyone else at the time back home in Chicago, you know, before I moved to LA in 2015. And this existence has been slowly removing people from my life. And you start to question, I think, like your sanity. You start to question the steps and the moves that you made. You start to question, like, dating apps. And then even, like, the whole song and dance of, like, going out on a date. And, like, what's the worth or what's the meaning. I think that there's value in putting yourself out, in, out of your comfort zone. Um... But I also feel as though that there's a lot of value and, and like right now I just came back from doing a delivery and two instances where people were just rude and just contextualizing that experience as, you know, that being a reflection of them and not of me and, and also that being of a reflection of like the misery of life. I mean, don't get me wrong, like a lot of suffering is in the perception of it and but I think it could be that we're almost built to want to try to exceed um, life itself and I think that that's something that I don't know if that's inherent I don't know if that's a blind spot in our humanity that keeps us kind of unbridled with ambition um, 
but in any event, I just feel as though that for anyone that is resonating with this, if you're a Leo, Leos are, they tend to be, I mean, for me, fixed signs tend to be like my natural born enemies because I don't respect people that are, you know, surrounded by like other people. <coughs> Excuse me, necessarily. I mean, that's probably like the side real uh, Pisces in me. Um, but I just feel like I've been on my hermit path for so long that like um, I look at people who are like the center of like lives and, and I, I just and that could be a little bit of me projecting from having someone of a narcissistic mom who was always like up her mom's butt it's my grandma's birthday today by the way um but I just, you know, and having an ex who was a Taurus, fixed sign, earth sign, and always trying to kind of pander to everyone else's lives but her own and her own relationship. Um, and having Leo friends that just, they always wanted more and more and more as far as like status and clout. So for me, I have very kind of, you know, sensitive sensibilities when it comes to... Uh, my respect for other people. <laughs> I know that sounds fucked up, but it's just what it is. It's probably a coping mechanism. It's probably a defense mechanism. But in some weird roundabout way, I feel as though that Leo might even resonate with that to some extent. I mean, Leo might feel... My, the bad taste in my mouth that I get with, like, Leo is that they're not very giving with, like, it, their birthright, their inheritance is almost like being, like, the center of attention and loved and always being with others. Like, to me, I don't really ever imagine Leo being, like, alone and isolated. So if you are, uh, feel free to comment and maybe we could be friends because maybe I'll have some sort of respect for you. But not to say that I won't respect you otherwise, but just from my personal history. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So this is strategizing, always strategizing, leaving spirituality or offers that you don't like or that you, that you can't see growing in, okay? Causing conflict, things that you don't want to work on or study. Okay, you might be moving towards a queen of wands here something more manageable, something more light, loose, obligation and responsibility wise, not having to deal with so much discipline here, the card of Leo, the strength card in reverse. I'm just getting this more kind of like freed up energy for you. Um, maybe bringing yourself to the status of, you know, boss of your life, so to speak. Um, which is cool. Um, yeah, anything else for Leo spirit? Anything else for Leo? Divorce, falling out of union, and getting back to party mode. So it's very interesting because it's almost as if, like, you started the reading before we were so rudely interrupted with, um, it's very sobering, almost, it could be interpreted as coming out of a third party situation. Um, with the Three of Cups in reverse, I think it's going to be different for everybody. Those are some of the interpretations. Um, and you ended the reading with the Three of Cups in the upright. So it's almost as if like, and coming out of relationships. So to me, it has to do with coming out of a serious time in your life. 
maybe battling the expectations, maybe even just having a bad day, where you're just, you, you just, you're one of those days where you're just like, I quit, I'm going crazy, I can't do this anymore, or, but, it's in that day that like, oh, suddenly it's Thursday and the energy feels real chill. You know what I'm saying? So I think that you're you're hopefully uh, hitching your wagon to those momentums of the week. But I do see a lot of energy of coming out of relationship and household. Um, some big picture items here. And being more so your own kind of free agent, your own boss. Um, and not like demean yourself or anybody regardless of the uh, criticisms, accusations, what have you. So, which is good on you, because I think that, you know, we all have this kind of birthright of this internal compass that we're trying to follow that others might not understand. So, it's also something we probably resonate on together, Leo, as being fire signs, Aries over here. Um, okay, but I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to move on to Virgo. How are you, boy?